to the Lexi Hair Channel. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve this really simple, really cute updo. Now this updo is my go-to hairstyle. Usually when I start pushing third or fourth day hair, my hair starts to get really greasy. Updos are great for dirty hair because the oils within your hair will really help hold the hairstyle and make it last all day. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep watching. Before I start this hairstyle, I'm going to clip in a few of my custom cut Dirty Blonde Luxie hair extensions. Usually when I start pushing third day hair, I find that my hair starts to get a little limp and flat. So I had a few wefts from my old set cut to match the length of my hair. This is an awesome trick for any of my short hair girls who love their cut but are looking to add some more volume to their hair. Now let's get started. For this tutorial, all you will need is your favorite hair band, a few bobby pins, and a hair elastic. Before I start this hairstyle, I'm gonna quickly brush through my hair to make sure the hair is smooth before sliding on my headband. I purchased this headband from Ardennes, but you can use any headband you like. Once you have the headband positioned on your head, carefully brush or pull the hair at the back of your head down. This will help to avoid that little poof in the back. If you find that your headband slides a lot in this position, you can always bobby pin it down to secure it in place. Now that I've gotten my headband secured where I would like it to be, I'm going to separate my hair into three sections. Two sections in the front of my face and one in the back. I'm then going to grab the back section of hair, roll it up towards that back elastic, and tuck the hair carefully into it. Now this part can be a little tricky so be careful. You don't want to move that headband around too much. Once all the hair is tucked in, you can then pin any short layers that are sticking out. Moving on to the front section, starting with the right side, I'm going to create a Dutch braid going down the right side of my head. If you don't know how to create a Dutch braid, no worries, we'll link a full tutorial for you down below. Now that my Dutch braid is completed, I'm going to carefully fan this braid out for extra volume. If you have a lot of layers like myself, be very careful when fanning out your braid to make sure you do not pull out any layers. Once done, I'm going to tie that braid off with an elastic and tuck the braid into the bun at the back of my head. For all my girls with layered hair, be sure to add any bobby pins needed to your braid to help secure those hairs down. Now for the other side, I like to keep it simple. So for here, I gently twist the hair towards the back of my head and tuck it into the other side of the bun. And of course, secure any loose layers with a bobby pin. The struggle with short layered hair is real, guys. Once everything is secured, gently run your hand over the bun to make sure everything is tucked in, and that's it. You're good to go. And there you have it, very cute and very simple, perfect hairstyle for those who have short hair, long hair, curly hair, any kind of hair that you have, this hairstyle is perfect for you. So give it a try and let me know in the comments below what you think, I'd love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great hair tutorials. See you guys later, bye!